What's up everybody? Lost Prophet here and it's tutorial time. I've been racking my brain automating these alvearies, but as you can see, I got it going on. So let's dive right in. We got 20 block alvearie with uh, 7 frame housings around the middle. And then of course your 9 uh, wood slabs on the top. So this is going to maximize your production because once you hit 7 frame housings, you're, you're pretty much done. Adding extra frame housings is kind of pointless. So we're going to go ahead and hook up export buses to the frame housings like so plus we're gonna connect them there we go and we're gonna bring this around to this side ha okay get the rest of the export buses boom 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 now what oh come off it thank you alright what these are gonna do is we are gonna set these up to accept unanalyzed drones whatever bees you're putting in here Make sure they're unanalyzed, okay? And then you're going to also want to put your pro whoops, no, that's not what I want to do. These export buses are for the frames. My bad. Disregard everything I just said. <clears throat> These are impregnated frames. These are the best frames you can make without having to do anything special. And these will maximize your production. Uh, since I'm doing refined bees here, in case you can't tell, see I'm doing refined bees. That's awesome. They're making me oily combs and petroleum combs. These are my basically my power supply. So I'm, I'm running on bees. Yes, here at the super secret island base, we run on bees. Okay, now the other import bus is going to get plugged into here, the top alveary block. And what we want this to do is we want this to accept analyzed refined drones and that'll be the only thing it sends into the system so basically what you want to do is you want to inoculate all your bees including your princesses to make sure they all have the same traits that is the trick because if you're building alvearies at this point you probably got a nice genetic setup going on like mine here right right okay am i right so now that we got that, we're going to take the import bus now. We're actually going to hook it in on the same side here. Import bus go right there. And we want the import bus to pull out unanalyzed drones like that. And then since I'm using refined bees, we're going to put the products in here, which is oily combs and petroleum combs. There we go. So now it will pull out the unanalyzed bees. And in my case, it's going to send them this way. Let me see which side my down elevators are on here. I believe it's this side. Yep. All right. This goes down here. Where the bees go now to make the analyzed drones is pretty simple. It goes here to this set of analyzers here. This will take the unanalyzed bees, drones in this case, shove them through and figure them out. So it'll keep the two separate and the system doesn't get confused. So anyway, back up we go. All right. But it, it, wait, there we go. We're going over here. All right, now the trick here is the princesses. The ME network seems to not recognize the princesses when they come out. So we need another way of getting the princesses out. So that's where the emerald pipe comes into play. There's our emerald pipe. We are going to go ahead and put the unanalyzed princess into the emerald pipe's filters. And then we are going to go ahead and slap an autarkic gate on there and then finish it off with a gold pipe going back in. Set the odd target gate to items and in inventory. One more. And then energy pulser. That will make sure that once all the drones are pulled out, <laughs> then that'll make sure that the princess gets pulled out and cycled back in. It's really weird how that works because the emerald pipe will not pull out the princess until all the drones are gone. It's weird. So that's why the uh, import bus over here is set to pull out the unanalyzed drones. So this uh, export bus here will keep the thing full of drones. Trust me, it's going to get very full. So now that we have this thing set up, we're going to go ahead and connect them up to the ME network proper. And then we're going to have a look inside. And you'll notice right away, it fills up with massive amounts of drones. So we take our refined princess, toss her in there. And of course we will get a queen, which is awesome. There we go. Now you'll notice that every time it ticks through a part of their life cycle, these are longest life bees right here. Every time it ticks through a part of their life cycle, it will give us, guaranteed each time, two oily combs right here 
and one petroleum comb. I don't know what the ratio is for other products because I haven't hooked up my other bees yet. I'm worried about getting my power supply bees together, of which there will be 10 sets. I may make it 20. I may make this whole room power bees, but I'm not sure yet. But anyway, that's it. You got your export buses here, keeping the uh, frame housings full of impregnated frames. Then you got your um, export bus over here, right here, keeping it full of drones. They are the analyzed drones. And then you got your import bus right here, pulling your unanalyzed drones and your products out. Okay, you got that? You know what, we're going to hurry up and set that to stack mode. There we go. Uh, just make sure it's quick. Quick and painless. And then for the princesses, the emerald pipe with the filter to the unanalyzed princess. The autarkic gate, of course, set the items in inventory and energy pulser. And finally, the gold pipe to send the, the uh, princess back in. Hopefully this makes you happy. I'm, I know it's not pure applied energistics automation. But you know what? It, the princesses keep getting lost in the ME system. They'll end up sitting in your drives doing nothing which is weird. They won't even export to the uh, analyzers. So hopefully this clears everything up for everybody because most of the Alvieri automation videos I've found are old school. They use build craft pipe or red power tubing. And yeah, granted we're using some build craft pipe right here, but it's very short section. It's only two pipes, so it's cheap, or at least somewhat cheap because of course we all know emeralds aren't easy to come by unless you're in an extreme hills biome. So yeah, hopefully that'll um, that'll keep you going, get your uh, alvearies automated. I'm happy. I'm going to go make some more pipe and get the rest of these done. Oh, I'm going to be pumping out power like nobody's business. Let's go have a look at my, um, my squeezer setup over here, see what kind of power I'm generating. Because that one's running on uh, biofuel right now. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. See, eventually it'll get backed up to the point where your squeezer will be constantly sunning out oil. And that can go into your refineries and be made into fuel. It is excellent. I'll even show you my fuel tanks. Here you go. Yes, fuel tanks. I have two of them. This one's got biofuel in it here. It's pretty well full. And then these two over here are dedicated to regular fuel. That one's full up and just sitting waiting to be used. And this one is filling up quite nicely. Yep, I'm at about 500 buckets, 511. That's awesome. So yeah, hopefully this tutorial helps you out with automating your alvearies using applied energistics and uh, a little bit of build craft. Granted, we would like to get it to be pure AE, but that's probably not going to happen. So in the meantime, stay safe, play hard, rack your brain trying to figure out how to automate these alvearies. I'll see you guys later.